A few days ago, we took a look at the Super G, the first and only Gemini transmitter on the market. In that video, we talked about how this thing works and what makes this module so special. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave it linked above and below so you can take a look at it. Today, we'll be showing you how to link this Gemini module to your existing drone. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you'll need is obviously the Gemini module. Now, at the time of filming, this is the only Gemini module or TX module on the market. In this case, this is a nano module, good for one watt. And if you do have a larger radio, there is an adapter to convert it from the nano to the actual standard JR Bay. In this case, today we'll be using a nano radio. We'll be using the actual Radio Master Pocket Radio for this demonstration. I've done a full review on this one as well. This is a very capable radio good for around 250 milliwatts using the Express LRS transmitter built into this radio. The only thing though, this doesn't have dual antennas, so it doesn't have Gemini. So this would be the perfect radio to install this nano module on the back of the bay here. Now the second thing you'll need is a true diversity receiver. This one here is by Happy Model, and there are tons of these on the market by numerous manufacturers. The one in my drone today is by Beta FPV, but you can identify these by having two antennas as well as two radio modules on your radio. Very cool, and this makes this whole thing work together. Now to make this whole thing work, you want to download the latest version of Express LRS on your transmitter as well as your receiver. Now at the time of filming, the latest version is 3.3 and that's already on this module, but I did have to flash 3.3 on my receivers. While you are there in the Express LRS configurator, you do want to download the latest version of the Lua script for your particular radio. Next thing is to install your receiver into your drone. I've already done that with the beta FPV version of the True Diversity receiver right here install this module bay on the back there we go and then turn this on now this is the same as any other radio you do want to have the internal module off your radio and have the external module on as you can see the lights are on that means my external module is on and powered now if you're new to flashing express LRS on your receiver and transmitter i'll leave a link down below for a video showing you how to do that but if that all works well this should automatically bind to your receiver and your drone now there's a lot of pilots who don't like to use the binding phrase. In that sense, you have to go into the menu, hit the bind button, as well as power cycling your receiver three times quickly to put the receiver into bind phase. Once that happens, these two will bind and you should be good to go. Okay, so it's as easy as going to the system page right here and I have Express LRS on the first selection. Just select that and it pulls up all the information from your module. Now we have the name of the module here, Nano G 2.4 G. And then you also have your packet rate, your telemetry ratio, your switching wide, and then your antenna mode. We have Gemini, which is what you want to have this working properly. And you also have antenna one, antenna two, and switch. Um, depending on what you want to do, you can have a switch for left or right, or one for one antenna, two for the other antenna, but it will receive the telemetry back from your drone on both antennas. So in this case, we are going to just use Gemini since that's why we're doing this. I do have model match off. And let's turn the power back down to, let's say, 10 milliwatts. Okay, the lowest it goes is 25. Let's go 25 milliwatts. And then you have the bind button. And this would be the way to actually put the transmitter into the bind mode. Now, this module here also has a customizable button here. And you can assign that to a bind feature as well. Depending on how long you press it or how many times you press it, you can have that feature on the back of your actual module. Let's go back here. Return, return, get out of the menu. I'm going to power up my drone and see if this thing is bound to this transmitter. So let's do that right here. And there we go. We have telemetry on here. Very nice. So let's go back into the system page here. Express LRS and the power is still good. Backpack, bind. And then you have other devices, which is the receiver in here. We can select that. And then you have beta FPV Super D and that's the super diversity receiver in here. Select that. Protocol is Crossfire. RX mode, Gemini. So now it's in Gemini mode. Let's see what the other options we have. Diversity and Gemini. Okay. Gemini. Telemetry power. It's already at 100. You can change the power on here. And the rate is all on here. All right, exit. And that's it, guys. Let's see if this thing here works. Let's see here. Oh, here we go. That works and arm there you go this thing all works together and that's how you bind your gemini transmitter to your drone 
It's pretty straightforward here, guys. Nothing too crazy compared to your original Express LRS, but that's exactly how it works. If you got any information from this video, please hit that like button. It does help the channel and push this video to other pilots. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.